Hello Marketer, are you ready to witness some game-changing AI magic that is gonna take your digital marketing game to the next level? From identifying your target audience to crafting catchy slogans and irresistible social media adverts, ChatGPT has got you covered. Let's dive in and I'll show you some genius ways that you can use ChatGPT to level up your digital marketing. So what we're going to do in today's tutorial is we're going to take a product, we're going to use ChatGPT to help us find a target audience, craft a catchy slogan, some social media ads, and then also some email campaigns as well. So you can see in just a few minutes how you can craft almost an entire marketing campaign using ChatGPT. So first things first, I found this microphone on Amazon. And what we're going to do is we're going to just copy and paste the description here. Now this will work for any website. You don't have to use Amazon. If you work for a particular company, you can use a product from there. I'm just using Amazon as an example. So if we copy this text, come back to ChatGPT and tell it to read this text and tell me when you are done. And there you go, ChatGPT saying it has read the text. How can it help us? So we wanna find out who would buy this product. So let's ask it for, give me three personas that would buy this product and tell me their motivations and pain points. And what we're hoping will happen here is that ChatGPT is going to give us three targeted personas and tell us what their pain points are and what motivates them. So there you go. As quick as that, we now have three potential target groups that would buy this microphone. And if we just take a quick look to have a read through these, they make sense. So you can see a live performer, so a musician or a singer, they need a reliable and durable microphone for their live performances. They want something that's going to minimize background noise. And they may also be concerned about the quality of sound transmission. Then we've got here a church or a community event organizer. They want something that can be used for various speakers and they've got a limited budget, so they don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a microphone. And then finally, a karaoke bar. Again, that would make a lot of sense. That's not one I would have actually thought of off the top of my head, but ChatGPT has got that for us. Okay, so now that we've got these three personas, let's think about writing a Facebook ad. So we can say, write three Facebook ads, and you don't have to pick three, you can pick less or more for each of these personas. Make the ad clickable by focusing on their motivations. So you can see here, it's not quite picked up exactly what I was asking for it to do. It's given me three Facebook ads in total, whereas I was hoping for three ads for each persona. And the reason for that is I wasn't specific enough in the prompt that I gave ChatGPT. And that's something you need to be super aware of. ChatGPT's answers are only going to be as good as the prompts you give it. And learning to write AI prompts is a skill. So it's something that I definitely suggest you invest some time in. But that being said, let's have a little look at these Facebook ads it's come up with. So for the live performer, we're really focused on what motivates them. They want to give a quality performance. So we're saying unleash your performance with our dynamic microphone. We're speaking specifically to them and we're also listing out some of the key features of the microphone. The same for these other ones here as well. Now these probably won't be perfect first time. Like don't be lazy and just expect ChatGPT to do everything for you. This has given us already probably 80%. Every ad here could do with a bit of tweaking and using our marketing skills to just make them slightly better. But you've already saved so much time just in a couple of minutes from watching this video. Okay, so so far we know who our target audience is and we've got some Facebook ads. The next thing, let's say this is a brand new product and we're working on a launch for it. So we're going to need an email to go with this. So we're going to say write a product launch email. And then we want them to use a persuasive writing style. So we'll say, use a persuasive writing style to encourage the recipient to buy the microphone before stock 
runs out. So what we're hoping for here is a product launch email that's going to use a persuasive style that encourages a customer to buy this product before it runs out of stock. So let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Okay, so that's a good start. Straight in the subject line there, we've been told that there is limited stock available and we're introducing a brand new microphone to people. And I'm gonna read through this. I think it's good, but it could definitely be improved. So one thing I really wanna do is get across in that first couple of lines that this is a brand new product, but also that stock can run out fast. So what we could say here is, Make it clearer in the first two lines that stock is limited and will run out fast. And you can see here now that first line feels so much stronger. We've told them it's exciting news. We've just launched this new microphone and it's already flying off the shelves stock is limited. So that bit of feedback there, ChatGPT has now made this stronger for us. You might also think maybe this is a bit too long and you want it shorter. So we could simply say, make it shorter. And this is what's great about ChatGPT. It's remembering your conversation from earlier. So it remembers what it's just provided to you and now it's given us a shorter version as well. Taken my feedback from earlier into account as well. So the first line here really talks about limited stock and you can see the overall length of this is far shorter than before. So you can really start tweaking this by giving ChatGPT feedback, but also take it offline from ChatGPT if you want and use your own marketing skills to really add your own spin onto it. Okay, so what else do we need when it comes to a product launch? Well, we're probably not gonna just sell this microphone through Amazon. We're also gonna work with music distributors who are gonna sell it to music retailers. So why don't we ask ChatGPT to write us a sales email for a distributor? So we're gonna say, write a sales email to a leading music accessories distributor to ask them for a meeting to show them the product. Focus on this microphone being extremely good value for money. So we know this distributor really cares about value for money. So that's why we've put that in there as well. So if we click enter, and there you go. Now we have a sales email that we can use for a distributor. And just like earlier, we can actually give feedback to ChatGPT to just make this a bit more tailored to what we really want. Potentially, we might want to make this a bit shorter or feel a little less sales and marketing. Do we really need an icon of a microphone here in the subject line? All of these things we can feed back to ChatGPT to make this really relevant. So the final thing we want to do now is create a catchy slogan for this microphone. And I've got no shame in admitting that when it comes to names or coming up with creative catchy slogans, that is something that I am not very good at. So I am very intrigued to see how ChatGPT can help me in that. So what we could do is we could say, write a catchy slogan for the product. But we don't want to just leave it at that because as we've learned already, the art is in what we say in the prompt and how much information we give ChatGPT. So if you remember earlier, some of the things that came back to us were this microphone was great value for money. It gave great sound quality at a competitive price. So I think that's something we could really lead with in this slogan. So write a catchy slogan for the product that describes how great the sound quality is for a competitive price. So I think that's good. That's given us something there to start with, but maybe that's just a little bit too long. So let's say make it shorter and more engaging. Pure sound, pure value. I like that. I like that. I think we're getting better now. Let's just see if there's a few more ideas. So we can say, write five more ideas. Okay, I like these. I think we can definitely work with them. And do you know what? Now that I've seen these slogans, one actual final thing that has popped into my head is, how are we gonna generate new leads for this product? I think maybe some top of the funnel blog content would be a great start. So let's just say, give me five top of the funnel blog posts that will help capture leads from our target personas. Let's see if it's remembered those target personas from earlier. And then I wanna really challenge ChatGPT to sell these ideas to me. So provide reasons why you came up with each 
title. So already I can see these are some really good ideas that are great top of the funnel content, not only for gathering leads, but also for SEO if you want to target those long tail keywords. So straight away here, this is clearly going for that first target persona, the musicians, the live performers. So yeah, they can find our microphone, but how do they know how to choose the best microphone? And that is this blog post here. And then this second one here is targeted toward those community event and church organizers. So how can they enhance their gatherings with the right sound equipment? Again, we're really providing value to these people at the top of the funnel before they've even started looking at a specific microphone. And you can take this even further. You can now start asking ChatGPT, can it write each blog post for you? And you can just see from that how you can get so much value out of this tool as a digital marketer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos to continue your ChatGPT and marketing journey. I'll see you in the next one.